So you uh, had the dead battery on the 09 Toyota Camry, and you go to the dealer, and they want, you know, $500 crazy amounts for battery, and no one will sell you one. You can't buy one in any auto parts stores, or certainly not Costco, Walmart, any of that stuff. And all the difference is, is it's got a little temperature sensor. It's got a little wire and a little tube that come out of the battery in the back. So when you go back in the trunk, you get your battery out. All you really need to know is what size battery is, what group size. And you can just take your tape measure, measure the thing, and, and these are size 25. Mine's a size group 25 size, and you might be a 34 size, but it's easy to figure out what size it is. Just measure the battery and go to the uh, group size battery table on the internet, and you'll figure out what size you need. But for these, it's, it, it's, a, it's a 25. And they highly suggest you use an absorbed glass mat. They call it AGM batteries. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I, I use the Duralast uh, AGM 25, group size 25. I got an AutoZone for $199, um, and that worked just fine. And then I'll show you how to uh, t take that little temperature sensor off of the old battery and put it on the new and make that work for you and, and get out for $200 rather than four or $500 and, and probably even have you a better battery. Okay, now we have the battery out, and you can see where the little vent came out, and here's where the little white wire came out. Well, this just pops set in there, just pops right out of there. And then you just take and peel up the sticker. And you find that there's that wire that goes in there, and that's glued in. And all you need to do is take that little wire out. And if you'll get you one of those little screwdrivers that you like to use for eyeglasses, and you can work that wire out of there with that, and that's where we get that loose. And then what comes out is your little temperature sensor. And then we're just going to tape this, or, or really best hot glue that onto the battery. But I, I would suggest you tape it first and find which location it's going to work best and then as you see, the old battery, the little vent hole is larger than the new battery's vent hole. So we'll, uh, there is a uh, different vent kit. You get a little vent hose, and let's get a different little L adapter. And then you stick the old holes, take the adapter off the old one, and then put the new adapter on to use the same hose that goes out. And that's how you hook up the vents. So for our first try, we just taped the little sensor on uh, the little white part of the tag there. Um, on the top of the battery, so we'll try that first. So we have our wire that hooks up to our temperature sensor, and we have our tube that hooks up to the vent on the side, and then the plus and the negative. So I'll just get that out of the way so we can get to it real easy. We'll put the battery in. Now we'll see if uh, it goes. Sometimes you have to start them three times, uh, and sometimes you have to move that temperature sensor to get this to work. So this is our first go on this one. So let's see if we get anything. One, two, we already got ready light, bada bing, we're good. 